if you have an AMD graphics card, you need an AMD CPU, period. If you put an AMD graphics card on a Intel CPU, you're leaving a lot of performance on the table. Oh yeah, Tyson. So the reason why the reason why I'm using the 1500X3D for the next video is because I am benchmarking a 6700XT as well. And if you're using an AMD graphics card, you have to put it with an AMD CPU for for uh, Sam. Like like AMD graphics cards will get like 20% less frames without Sam right so it's not fair like i mean it could, it could that's subjective too it could be fair could not be fair right um like like so if, if i did a 12 900k and then i did uh 30 70 ti 2080 ti this this would perform exponentially worse than it would have on an amd cpu right but you also can't use like you have to use a 5800X3D because that CPU is fast enough to saturate all three of these graphics cards, right? So that was the, that was just the best CPU to use for this specific video, right? So here you have bar, here you have nothing, no support. And then here you have Sam. So uh, 5800X3D, right? So you have this one cpu can saturate all three of these gpus and it supports all three of their feature sets so this was the best cpu to, CPU to use for this video is what i'm saying right that's why because you want like 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 you want to show all the graphics cards at their best yeah I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna gimp the amd graphics card with an intel cpu right is what is what the point was there but you also can't gimp it with a 5950x because this thing is too fucking slow for 1080p right you know what i'm saying uh let me catch up here if that makes sense i hope that made sense yeah sam no 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 sam is an amd only feature no no smart no um um you're thinking infinity cash i know dude that that's a perfect example of amd throws too many fucking buzzwords around dude like like how like dude the per like the 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 audience member that's a hardware enthusiast is confused as shit like like amd's gotta get like gotta sort that shit out right so it's like infinity cash is what you're thinking of this is on gpu right hardware in silicon uh, however you want to fucking label that shit right sam smart access memory is amd's proprietary bar resizable bar bar i think i spelt that wrong but you get the fucking gift right um and sam is not the same as bar so if so it's it's fucked dude it's really fucked i don't i don't know why i don't know why they did it that way but so if if you so if you have a uh 12900k and like a 5950x and you have a 6900 xt or actually let's let's put 5800 x3d it's a better better example here right and then you have 6900 xt right you have this same graphics card on both of these cpus and you go into the bios and you enable resizable bar if this detects this cpu it will say if you open up gpu z here down here resizable bar it will say resizable bar bar or whatever right if you do it with the 1500 x3d it will say smart access memory so the the, the 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 button in the BIOS is the same, but what it's called in Windows is different depending on which CPU you use, right? Now, this same graphics card will perform very differently with BAR and SAM, right? 
so that's why i had to use the 3d chip with the 6700 xt to show it in its best light right and the 1500 x3d is also not slow enough to not you know what i'm saying like it's it's fast enough for a 70 class card it's a good pairing is what i'm saying right so that's like the perfect it's it, trust me that's like literally the best way to benchmark these graphics cards trust me so the numbers that you're gonna see in the video when i post it are those three graphics cards maxed out in their specific features as well right uh let me catch up here like it's, it's hard to explain if you have an amd graphics card you need an amd cpu period if you put an amd graphics card on a fucking intel cpu you're leaving a lot of performance on the table and like weird stutters and shit dude just trust me on that it's a fuck it's a it's a, it's a dumpster fire no if you turn you can't turn sam on on an intel cpu that that feature does not exist with an intel cpu is what i'm saying is that right does that make sense you can only turn on sam if you have an amd cpu that's why i had to use an amd cpu for that benchmark video so okay let me let me let me try and rephrase this amd gpus are not are feature platform specific nvidia gpu is i think agnostic is the correct term here right i think they don't care about what platform they're on is what i'm saying okay so so in, in, nvidia nvidia gpu will perform the same on intel or amd cpu amd gpu will perform better on amd cpu that's that's what that's what i'm getting at here indifferent and dependent no that's not no right so when you're benchmarking an amd graphics card you probably should or th the argument goes both ways right it's like it's like if <sighs> there's no correct answer there is what i'm saying if you have an amd graphics card and you benchmark it on an intel cpu then you could be like that sounds like amd's problem they should make that shit work with intel cpus valid that's valid right maybe maybe that's the correct approach right um if you benchmark it on an amd cpu you get better performance out of the gpu right which shows the graphics card and its max potential there's not really a wrong answer there i just i chose i i think i chose the 1500 x3d for my own curiosity really i wanted to just see what that thing was maxed out and if the and if the if both of the nvidia graphics cards were hardware indifferent i guess indifferent is the right then i might as well use the amd cpu right i'm sure intel will do something similar right uh, uh closed off ecosystems um i think that was a huge mistake on amd's part though uh, amd amd does not have the market share to be doing that shit it's a big mistake that was a big fucking mistake they so so they thought that if they did that they would it would make people want to buy amd graphics cards if they already have an amd cpu that didn't happen at all people just bought nvidia ones anyway right nobody wants that amd shit